Hello, this is Andy Corp of 4321traffic.com and I had a person ask me the other day what would I do the very first thing starting out a website? I told them the first thing to do is find some keywords and we've got a list of keywords here for chicken noodle soup and some things we would write pages about and we got those with some keyword modifiers here how to think about the long version of a keyword resource. But what I really want to talk to you today is on the first day, what do I do? So let's say we've got some keywords. And today we're going to talk about easy chicken noodle soup. So let's say we had a blog. And I'm just going to do this on my blog today. <clears throat> we're going to make a page for easy chicken noodle soup. Now one of the first things you have to do when you turn on your blog, this is a WordPress blog, it's got an SEO plugin. You have to make sure your blog can format a page properly. And I'll show you here what the format looks like when we get done. But I have this SEO plugin installed, and that's going to help me format this page properly. Okay, the first thing to do is get a title to the page, Easy Chicken Noodle Soup. The title of the page is what will be displayed in the search engines this is going to be the on the page title not at the top of your browser title on the page title so this is easy chicken noodle soup the next thing you want to make sure is that your keywords are in your URL and we did that by editing the URL here I have a uh, category called chicken noodle soup and then I put an easy chicken noodle soup which allowed me to be in the URL the next thing we're going to do is we're going to write some text about easy chicken noodle soup. We want the keywords to be the <clears throat> in the first of the paragraph. We want the keywords to be in the last part of your page. We want the text to be about two to three hundred words long. <clears throat> and then you're going to put in your recipe or whatever your deal is there. But it's important to have your keywords in the text at the beginning, at the end, and dispersed throughout at about a 3% frequency, something close to there. Something that makes sense to your reader, so just because you made a page doesn't mean somebody wants to read Easy Chicken Noodle Soup 50 times. Okay, let's say we've got our post made. And now we're going to come down here to the bottom of the page down here for the all-in-one SEO pack, which is the plugin I have installed. This is the title. This would be what's on top of your browser. I'm going to put Easy Chicken Noodle Soup there. This is the description. That's what showed in the search engine that has the text below your title. And I put my description there. It's important to think about your description because this is what's going to make people actually click on your link. And then next I put in a few keywords for the keyword meta tags. This is going to be your title. This is going to be your meta keyword description. This is going to be your meta keywords. Let me show you how that all looks. So now we've let's, we've published this page. Looks here, and this is what the page is going to look like: easy chicken noodle soup, easy chicken noodle soup, easy chicken noodle soup. Our keywords are dispersed throughout. Now let's go look at somebody else's page, and I have search for chicken noodle soup here in the Food Network. Their pages are displayed so nicely. This Alton Brown Food Network here. So here's this chicken noodle soup. And notice it's in the front part of his page there. It's going to be down here in his keywords. <clears throat> and then what's going to happen is, if you view the source of this page, you'll notice at the very top, he has his title, Chicken Noodle Soup, Alton Brown Food Network. If you remember, that's exactly what gets displayed here. That's where that comes from. That's why it's important to put your keywords there at the search engines. Look for the first thing on your page is what is the title of the page. Then it looks at your description. In his description, it says chicken noodle soup. So if we go back to his page here, we go down to his description. It says Food Network invites you to try this chicken noodle soup recipe from Alton Brown. That's where they got that from. Now, if you scroll down this page, it went too far. <clears throat> the t 
title of his page here is Chicken Noodle Soup. It's got a H1 tag on it. Chicken Noodle Soup. See this H1 tag? Now if your blog software or your formatting software doesn't have that, <coughs> you'll have to hand code this or however you want to do it, but somehow you need to get an H tag, H1, H2, H3 on your page for the title of your page. It needs to be in the title that goes on top of the browser then it needs to be the title on the page itself. The H1 tag is important. This is what tells the search engine what the most important part of the page is. So now, you've made a page, it's properly formatted, you've got your <coughs> title at the top of your browser, you've got your H tags around your title on your page, you get your keywords in your page, and then you publish your page and you submit it to the search engines of wherever you go. And we'll do this again next time. On the second part of this, we'll show you how to submit this to search engines and get it listed and maybe make a few links to the page. But that would be the first thing I would try is to make a page, make it properly formatted, make sure you view the source code and it does that. It might take you a few tries. But once you get that far along, you have your first one done. This is Andy Corp 4321 Traffic.com. Thank you very much.